Hi you guys, Fashion Angel here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, take care of like open cuts, or like open like, ew, okay. Um, anyways, I just got a wart frozen off, disgusting, I know, it's very nasty, and it popped last night, I don't know if that's normal, and I don't know, like this water stuff came out, and now it looks mm, so like I can't be adjusted. Hang on. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's like bloody a little bit. And stuff in this morning. There was like a little patch of skin and I just ripped it off. And it was disgusting. So for this, you will need about three um, napkins or I mean tissues. Or a, like two Q-tips or more. Um, you'll at least need, um, see I don't have any Q-tips Q -tips up in my room. But I might have cotton balls with No, no cotton balls. Okay. Yeah, I'm sitting down on my rug next, under my sink. So, um, yeah, and, um, so for this, I'm going to say it, like, a better way. So, you, you'll you need one tissue, um, one Q-tip, and that's it. Um, because Q-tips usually have two sides, like, with cotton on it. Anyways, let's get started, but I'm using it a different way, so just... You guys have tissue and Q-tip. I have three tissues. If you want to use it my way to get a better understanding, just do it. Okay. Anyways, um, so for this, you're gonna have three napkins. I mean tissues, um, band-aids, and then hydrogen peroxide. I think I said that right. I don't know. And then, um, what is this? Have it in, like this little thing that makes more cream stuff come out. Okay. It's like some cream that won't, like, won't make stuff sting and stuff. So, um, have that too. Like cream that helps, that you put on cuts, you know? Okay. Now, take two tissues and lay them out flat on top of each other. Okay? So it should look like this on the floor. And then, Fold it, fold the bottom up, and it should be in half. Then fold it, and so this way. So take this side right here and fold it over and then straighten it out and stuff. So now it should look like this. Then fold it down and then over just like that. Now take your hydrogen peroxide, I always have trouble saying that, but, and kind of do that twice, you know, I'm going to do it a third time. Okay, now, hang on, I'm going to do it another time because it seems like it didn't get enough. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now put it on your cut. And if it's stinging, that means that it's getting cleaned. Mine's not wet enough. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. So now, if it's bubbling, that's normal. It means that there's just a lot of dirt in it. Okay. Now you want to take your tissue, because you're right now you were just supposed to, um, just a minute ago, when you were cleaning it, you should have used your um, Q-tip. Um, now you use your tissue and just dab it all off. Okay, so the Q-tip that you used and the tissue that you used, you can put that away now. Now you can put, also put away your hydrogen peroxide, so now you can pick out a band-aid. I put all my band-aids, ooh that's too big, um, so all my band-aids in this big little bag, well, you know. Okay, so you take a band-aid, 
should have gotten a dot band-aid, but um, take a band-aid that's big enough for your cut or something. And then, you know, take it off. And then, like, put it on the floor with the sticky side up. And take a little bit of your cream and then put it on the white part and then rub it in with your finger on the white part. If you get it on the sticky part, then it won't stick. Okay, now wipe your hand off after, the, after that for it, like you put it on the sticky stuff. Now put it on your cut. Now it should be better. It shouldn't hurt that much. And if it still does hurt, then just give it a second. It'll heal faster if you put stuff on. Um, so, yeah. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And thumbs up for this video. And subscribe for my channel. Bye!